Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen 2. My name is Saiken and we are playing on Legendary Iron Man difficulty. It's month number four and I'm preparing the liberation of our home region. Everything's going really well. Five uh, engineers, five scientists, um, really strong research push. We're nearing the mid-game, got a good equipment, most of our squad is most of our squads are equipped with laser weapons. Now slowly but surely starting to build armor. And this is where an ambush of Advent troops uh, was coming in. There is a lot of material on the line. We are looking at swarming levels of uh, activity. Uh, 36 um, enemies in here. An Operation Faceless Witch um, would be a typical mission where we have no timer um, and we where we could keep all of the corpses. So there is um, an inherent incentive to do it uh, as difficult as you can. I think with our squad we don't have a really perfect squad by any stretch of the imagination, but it's seven people, basically whomever we could uh, uh, could scratch together sharpshooter specialist assault skirmisher as a back uh, as kind of the core of the squad another specialist another assault and a rookie to round it up um, and if we play our cards right we might even be able to leave with a lot of corpses let's give it a go okay here we are back so ambush enemy troops essentially is a non-timed mission well, we just got to kill everyone on site in order to finish the mission. Now, that's the good news. The bad news is you're usually starting in a corner of a map, so there's really not much retreat. And with 36 enemies and a medium-sized map, there will be a lot of contacts. Now, the good part is we started in high ground. And... This here is some sort of favorable um, environment for us. Uh, first things first, we're calling in the Sky Ranger because it will take us eight rounds to get out of here. What I would want to do is I'd like to set up a little parameter like back here. I feel once we break vision line here, we might even end up with two or three packs, um, which is not optimal. We really don't want that to happen. So instead, let's move over, trying to not pull anything. Um, essentially, our sniper would be the one person on the roof who else has a decent big weapon no one well that's great that's just effing great um so harbinger the scout uh, the skirmisher would probably be the next in line i would put him however a bit further down so that we can use the grappling hook We do have SMGs, by no stretch of the imagination is that a really good weapon to shoot from the rooftop. Specifically not if you have a ballistic SMG. But our real firepower lies with the, uh, with the assaults and their shotguns. Now the problem with that is assaults and shotguns require you to get relatively close to the enemy target and as you can imagine um, that increases the chance even more that we're going to scout someone out so what we instead are going to do is we're putting people here into solid positions I'm hoping that someone would really come across this angle probably putting I need to be careful with the window down here. I really don't want to engage things that are behind uh, behind uh, this area. Maybe we're putting ourselves here behind the car next turn uh, so that we do have a second shooting angle. Um, in a nutshell, we want to, first of all, 
go into Overwatch for a really long time until the Sky Ranger is here. And yep, we need to we need to use uh, those sorts of tactics because this here can escalate relatively quickly. Oh, wow, even one more reason to stay in cover. So we got a Chosen here. I think if we stay in cover, we should be fine. Uh, she uh, is immune against explosions, so that won't help. And she regenerates, which means we actually need to follow up on her. It's of course a problem if she runs back into packs, um, we can trigger even more enemies. Uh, but close range attacks will deal a lot of damage, so uh, will skirmish her attacks and she's not immune against overwatch mind you so that should give us a chance to to hit her so a couple of units which we can see with vision two packs of i think five to six units Should have probably brought bigger guns. As good as the SMGs are, um, they might might not be as good in a long in a prolonged firefight. Oh come on! The alien activity takes forever. Let me cut this out and I'll come back to you once the alien turn is over. There we go. So our turn will be relatively straightforward, to be honest. We we'll move to here, but it's there are too many angles. I don't like that. I much rather stay down here. Okay. Let's put everyone onto Overwatch. And let's see what happens. By the way, these movement indicators uh, that we just had over here indicate that there is an advent pack like right downstairs behind us. Just for your info. All right, we saw a chosen movement, but we couldn't completely figure out where she has moved. Uh, I know she started probably two to three, uh, three turns away from us, which, yeah, means there is a high likelihood that she's just going to interrupt us and take a step at us. Wouldn't be surprised, to be honest. Again, Edwin's right in front of our house door. Another chosen movement, but yet still hasn't um, hasn't shown up. So I'm pretty sure that somewhere here we would be seeing enemies. But I don't want to go and take a look. Order confirmed. Moving out. 
Just moving a little bit closer in case she comes over here. Okay, nothing special, just another overwatch trap. Let's wait for the chosen. There we go. Four turns in. And she takes a swing. Harbor wave. Grenade. What is it? I will not be so easily defeated again. It's one of the elders chosen. Takes a shot instead. Okay. Interesting. Well, she has seen that we have given her an Overwatch trap. So let's move to here. Hopefully we're triggering not another pack. That would be really, really unfortunate. Okay, so she should theoretically speaking, um, take extra damage from uh, from the skirmisher. <laughs> well, that was not really... that was not really like extensive extra damage to be honest might as well use our good old shotguns okay this here looks much better 7 to 12 see 14 critical brittle wounds from really 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 close Be careful, I really don't want to trigger someone else. This is probably... Yeah, I also don't want to let her get away. Alright, uh, this should be a kill. <laughs> okay, chosen done. Good job. Short softening up, two shotguns, and down she goes. <laughs> All right, before we do so though, it's time for another overwatch. We're not healing yet. Okay, we just got the Chosen uh, down. So it's kind of the absolute minimum. Um, there are still 30 or oh, 40-ish more to go so very soon we're going to go to the edge and start slowly but surely claiming uh, the the other side of the house I see there are simply no there are simply no uh, patrols coming from here maybe the loss will give us some line of uh, sight to whatever advent forces are, um, have have been gathering there
Well, that's a lot of enemies. Um, I haven't seen anything downstairs. Maybe the movement indicators did originally come from the Lost. I'm not sure. Let's conserve ammunition. We're starting with the gun. Okay, 8-Ball has a good streak here. I like it. Rookie takes a kill. Oh, that's good. Okay, now... Let's very, very carefully move over and see if this here triggers anything. Well, it certainly triggers a lot of chosen uh, loss, but it does not trigger an enemy pack. Okay. Moving over here, still using our pistol. Time to clean up. I totally love the between the eye mod. That allows us to to deal with the uh, with the loss. And as always, we can keep the corpses of the lost. Good, that worked out remarkably well. Don't want to yet go all the way to here because we might trigger uh, something over here. Okay, we probably need to go into the second floor as, as well because there is some more good cover and some decent shooting angles through the door. Okay, I think we got the one side of uh, the house pretty much secure, and that's a good starting point for uh, for more Overwatch traps. Our tactic is most likely going to be to uh, to place enough Overwatch traps and let someone uh, walk into them. Wow, 
one single loss is left uh, left over. And best case scenario for us would be that some of the alien patrols like move into us and we get a full Overwatch uh, trap. That's what I was talking about. There we go. Lots and lots of misses. We gotta be careful though, the three Vipers are just the beginning. Oh really? I was in cover, what the actual F. Well you gotta love when they come in with, uh, with uh, yellow alert, right? Every single one of this pack got a free overshot, uh, over, uh, free shot. In some cases, uh, even an Overwatch shot on top of it. And no one, by the way, uh, of our team was uh, standing outside of cover. Let's start getting the advent sentry here. This is supposed to be a grappling hook, by the way. Come on. Very nice. I think we still had a rookie here on the t uh, on the um, rooftop. Gosh, frame rates are dropping quite a bit now. Let's kill the sucker. That's why I wanted to get a little bit closer, but I was like, yeah, it's going to be fine. No, it's not. Get back in there. So the stun lancer would certainly be the more attractive target to kill. Let's try and see if we can get him. Come on. Very unfortunate. You know, I do have an idea. 
Let's kill this guy here. We'll get hit and run. And as a bonus, because everything else worked so phenomenally well. Let's just flashbang all three of the snakes. Good. We are needing all the help that we can get now. Good, here we go. Nice little nice little smoke. Yeah, we're too far away to hit, sh hit for shit here. But we can stun someone if necessary. Could move over here. But we don't have run and gun. Uh, that would, would have allowed us to take a shot onto the stun lancer. Yeah, only got 50% chances, unfortunately. We gotta get into full cover. We can't just stand on top of the roof. It's not gonna work. And we will need to take shots that are suboptimal. Probably not 10% shots, uh, those I don't even bother to take. But 50 50, nothing to shy away from. Let's see if we can stun the stun lancer. Yep, not bad. We can try that again next turn. And we're simply going to overwatch in case someone is going to move. So everyone's currently in full cover. They can't use their special abilities. And we can start flanking next turn. Okay, they are blinded, but they hit into full cover. That must have been about a 10% shot. Good, Lost Swarm appears. They will ta also take care of uh, the Overwatch. And hopefully together with the Lost, we will, uh, we will um, give some additional targets to the aliens. 
so that they are not going to need to shoot our operators. Well, so much for our Overwatch. Wow, okay. Still think that the Stun Lancer is not a bad idea, and it's a 50 50 chance to actually kill him. Well, there is a portion of Grace shot in it, but it's a good chance to essentially kill him. Almost. Hmm, we could, could go down here and then grab us up here, essentially tr uh, flanking <clears throat> those guys. We could also grab uh, completely to the other side over here, but that would open way more territory and I really don't want to trigger more. Could move over to here, but that wouldn't flank anyone. Hmm. I like the position up here. I think that would require us to go somewhere to here and then grab ourselves up. He would free up a spot for the rookie to take. And the only disadvantage is not being within a smoke grenade. But since we already have people in half cover, might as well put our skirmisher in half cover. Uh, the skirmisher at least has enough hit points. Well, that's a lot of enemies. Wait, where did we trigger? What? Where? Wait, what? Okay. Well, we gotta flashbang those guys over there. But we also got to deal with the enemies down here. So we got another hit and run. I am 
There we go. That's one Viper down. Okay, so that's going to be important. We don't want any of these guys to use any um, abilities. Let's see about our rookie. Probably moving up to here. Taking the position of uh, the uh, the uh, skirmisher. Not even sure what to do with those guys here uh, now. This here might or might not kill the um, Advent Trooper. Well, it deals a lot of damage, which isn't bad. Could move to here. But can we kill all of them? Moving over to here would at least have pretty good shooting angles and high ground. We don't have run and gun yet. We can't just jump down. That would be suicidal. That here would probably be the best choice. I'm going. That could be a kill. That's a maybe. Uh, Got to deal with the I really got to deal with the um, Rocketeer over here. But we also got to kill um, enemies for sure. Can't just hope for maximum damage, specifically not if we're not, if we don't have uh, crit up. Time for fortify. Moving into half cover. Okay. I think we're going to run and gun. and reload we're standing here by the way this is a graphical bug advent sentry could be a pretty solid chance to kill the mutant five to eight fifty percent chance to to crit let's go with the mutant i'm still terrified 
about his uh, damage uh, damage capabilities. All right, moving to here because we are we can drop down into full cover and flank them next turn. Also, we're a little bit low on hit points. And yeah, Wolfman certainly needs the aid protocol. He has defense plus aid protocol plus half cover. Should be good enough to not be hit. Yeah, frame rates dropped completely now. Not very surprising if you think about how many enemies were fighting at once. I hope that the losses are going to help us just a little bit. Like, they could attack some of the enemies at least. It's a massive battle. Complete slugfest. Six enemies in the first pack. Uh, three, uh, three Vipers. Three um, Advent Soldiers. Uh, mutant plus mutant plus six in the second pack, so seven. That's thirteen, and it feels like a uh, hundred thousand chosen uh, loss. Okay, I need the loss to please go and kill them. For once, hit them and deal a lot of damage. Oh my god, another swarm of the loss is close. Can you imagine how many loss we would be fighting? If that swarm would, would reach us, that would be crazy. All right, let me... Oh, wait, they are finally moving. I was about to, uh, to pause the recording for it. As always, the loss seem to be focusing a lot on us and not on others. Stun Lancer is down, that's good. Well, they killed the Stun Lancer, that's about it. Wow. Well, this here certainly is is going to be interesting. 
I need to, unfortunately, since we're almost uh, running for cl uh, close to an hour, I would end the episode here. I know, right? In the middle of, uh, of the battle. But I think we have a decent starting position for the second half of it. I have no idea if we're going to just extract at some point when it's getting too much. For now, I think we're going to be fine. On this side, the mutant is soon going to fall and we need to kill the grenadier. Like These are our two top priorities. Then there are still three more um, advents. I think we, ca uh, we might be able to get another viper down. Uh, this um, advent here most likely is getting killed. Uh, not 100% sure if the viper can survive it either. We need to we need to um, take a close look on what we're doing. Anyways, for now everything's fine. I um, well, quote unquote fine. I really enjoy this mass battle. It's it's a nice uh, ch a change of pace compared to the normal slower missions, and I. I hope you like the chaos as well. And this is what could be a better cliffhanger than this picture here um, to give you motivation to t uh, tune in to the next uh, session. Thank you so much for watching and see you in exactly two days. Bye-bye.